Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of my Hits and Shits series. I have got some really exciting products to show you today and actually quite a few hates that I'm a little bit sad about because some of my hates are actually really vile products that are super recommended and I tried them and I was just like, it's, it's a no for me. So if you are new here, these are essentially all the products that I have been loving and hating over the past month-ish. <laughs> First up, I've got this hair care product from the brand Sun Bum. <sighs> I wish smell a vision existed and I wish that you could smell this through the screen right now because it's honestly unbelievable. It's called their Protecting Anti-Frizz Oil Mist and it smells like coconut and bananas and it is unreal. It's an incredibly lightweight mist. It does actually have oil in it. It's obviously anti-frizz and you know how like most oils when you put them in your hair, they make your hair really like heavy and like they, they just leave a residue and they almost just like weigh it all down. This doesn't do that at all. It's also a heat protectant, so you just basically mist it onto your wet hair. I'll then dry my hair off with my uh, Dyson Supersonic, and then I'll straighten my hair. The perfume lasts in my hair for several days, and it does an amazing job at controlling the frizz. And I also feel like it helps give my hair like this glossy shine as well. Absolutely love it, uh, swear by it. I only discovered, I've probably been using it for maybe a month now. Um, I just literally saturate my hair in it every time I do my hair and it's just, it's unreal. Highly, highly recommend. Definitely a favorite this month. Next up, and I absolutely had to do this because how can I not? Our velvet finishing powder. You guys, this has been saving my life over the past month. I have been traveling to Sydney heaps lately. You probably don't know this about me, but I live about an hour and a half, oh, sometimes two hours with the traffic away from the airport, right? And so to get to Sydney, I have to first drive the two hours and then I have to get on a plane and it's like an hour and a half on a plane. And then, you know, an Uber, you know, wherever I need to go in Sydney, it might be an event, it might be a meeting or whatever. And then repeat back on the plane, you know, fly all the way back to Melbourne and then drive back to my house. This has been keeping my makeup looking so snatched and so perfect the entire time. I've said to you guys over and over again, you will never catch me using another setting powder. This is the only thing that works for my skin. Um, it's triple milled, like I have told you guys before. It's loaded with six really incredible skincare ingredients for hydrating and nourishing the skin. It is scented with natural vanillin, but if you hate scents, we also do offer an unscented version. We've also got a pressed version, and we also now have a pink brightening version. Um, I'm just, it's, it's honestly been saving my life. Like when I use this in the morning, my makeup just lasts all day and through all of that traveling and I just feel I love her I love her and I have to let you guys know that I love her I did also want to let you guys know as well that we are having a huge Black Friday sale over on our website Nikija Cosmetics 30% off site why so if you want to try it or you need a refill or you want to purchase some backup. I know a lot of you do actually buy like two to three jars of this at a time to make sure that you don't run out. It's just honestly, it's unreal. But yes, she's on sale. Everything is on sale. It's absolutely amazing. All of our lashes, our perfecting sponges, our matte base primer, all of our loose pigments are on sale. Our powder puffs and sponges, our full professional makeup brush collection, accessories, the palettes, like everything, 30% off. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, and I mean, it's a favorite every day of my life. Like it's, I've had this on, like my makeup has been on now for about four hours probably. And it's just, it's just perfect. It just makes my skin look so perfect. I absolutely love it. She's a favorite every day of my life. All right, next up, I actually have a self tanning water and this is for the face. Now I am particularly fussy about self tanning my face. I would never in a million years put my regular self tanning mousse on my face causes blackheads, causes my skin to break out. I know some people can do it and it's totally fine. For me, and even though I don't have sensitive skin, I don't know what it is, my skin just erupts. It absolutely hates it. So when I'm wanting to give my face like a really nice bronzy glow that's still really natural and that's not gonna break it out, I will usually go for tanning waters. Now I have always recommended the Saint Tropez one. I still really love and enjoy that, but I think I actually like this one more. This is from the brand Isle of Paradise. Is this an Australian brand? No, it's a UK brand, there you go. Basically all you do is after you've done your skincare in the morning or at night, you spritz this all over your face. I also like to do like my neck and like my decolletage. Sometimes I'll use it on the back of my hands as well. This just gives your face a really, really nice bronzy glow, but without turning your face orange and also without being like streaky and patchy or it's settling in eyebrows or like around your nose. Like some like facial tanning mists are not a vibe. 
Um, this one's just incredible and it doesn't break my skin out. It doesn't annoy my skin at all. I don't get any blackheads. I don't get any breakouts. It also is like a non-transferring like clear formula, which I really like. So you can spritz your face with this before you jump into bed and then it can work its magic overnight. Honestly, unreal. I mean, this is the dark one. I do think it comes in like maybe a medium. Um, yeah, I love this. Swear by it. And it doesn't annoy my skin, which I'm just always like so grateful for. I do actually have another body care product. Uh, and I need to buy this in the full size because this is absolutely unreal. So, Sol de Janeiro. I think I'm pronouncing that right. The makers of the Boom Boom Cream. The best moisturizer to ever exist on the face of the earth. It's absolutely incredible. Basically, it's like a tropical cocktail and it's incredible. Like, it's absolutely unreal. This is called Bomb Dia Bright and it is a shower gel and it is one of the best smelling things I have ever smelled in my life. Like, truly, it's like strawberries and I bet you I'll look this up online after I finish this video and I'll have this all wrong but to me it smells like strawberries and vanilla and just dessert and it is just so delicious the scent lasts on your skin all day and it's one of those really nice sudsy really foamy shower gels it's like really thick and feels amazing on the skin I am absolutely obsessed with this I am going to be buying it in the full size and it is going in my shower and I'm going to be using this every single day for the foreseeable future because it is absolutely unreal like honestly anything from sol de janeiro highly 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 recommend try the boom boom cream sometimes i do have samples available in like mecca and that go in even even just go in and like slather yourself in it this will change your life i apologize to your bank account because you're going to become addicted next up i have a little dupe recommendation so you will all remember the Hourglass Phantom Glossy Lip Balms. These went so insanely viral. They broke the internet. There were people queuing up at stores trying to get their hands on these. Like they were that level of viral. Absolutely insane. Um, I absolutely love the formula as well. Like don't get me wrong, it is a gorgeous formula. It is just very, very expensive. Here in Australia, these will set you back $58 each. Very, very, very expensive. And they actually do not last long at all. Like it looks like a whole long pencil. Like you really only get like maybe about that much product in there. And because it's like a gloss, you, you're reapplying all the time, right? $58 for these. Well, I have found a dupe that from memory, they're, they're normally $6.95, like $6.95 Australian, but they're on sale at the minute, I believe for about $5. And they are just absolutely bang on exactly the same product. So these are from She Glam. And I've got one of the boxes here so that I don't get this wrong. It's the Pout Perfect Shine Lip Plumper. I will obviously be linking all of the products that I mentioned are down in the description bar below. But these are seriously exactly the same thing. So these will give the lips a really, really gorgeous, glossy shine. I am wearing one of the She Glam ones on my lips right now. Super, super glossy shine. A really, really pretty hint of color. And they also plump the lips. Pretty much every single thing about this formula, exactly the same as the Hourglass. Um, they're just a whole lot cheaper. So if you didn't want to fork out the cash for these, which I really would recommend trying these. Like, they're seriously amazing. I just, oh, they're so addictive and they feel so good. Like even the packaging is very, very similar. Like, like it's like a little click up pen. I will also say they're an amazing uh, dupe for the Tarte Maracuja ones as well. Uh, just, I love a good dupe. You guys know I love a good dupe. And especially if I can save that amount of money. Like you could get almost, what, 10 of these for the price of one of the Hourglass ones. I mean, it's just stupid. It's just it's just stupid not to, honestly. Next up, I have a $13 eyeshadow palette that has seriously low-key changed my life. Um, and it may be potentially a dupe, I don't know, for like a Pat McGrath eyeshadow or something. I'm not exactly 100% sure. And you've probably been looking at like the glitter on my hands, all of these sparkles, and also the glitter on my eyes. It's this palette. It's absolutely unreal. So the brand is called Unleashia. I'm pretty sure this is a K-beauty brand. I got this off the website, Yes Style. Yes Style is like my go-to shopping place for everything K-beauty. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, also, I do have, I think it's an affiliate code. I could be wrong. I do have a discount code. So if you do grab anything off Yes Style, oh, I've got to remember what it is. I think it's Nikia 10 for 10% off, but it's a minimum spend of 49 USD. I think, I mean, if you're like me, you'll, you'll be on Yes Style all the time. It's amazing. I'll, I'll link it and I'll put the code down below. Uh, but this here is a little glitter eyeshadow palette and it is 
unreal. The formula of the glitters in this is absolutely insane. And I was on the Yes Style website before and I've just realized it comes in a multitude of different colors. This one here is the number one uh, palette. It's called the Glitterpedia Eye Palette. Number one, all of glitter. I've, I've now realized it comes in multiple different colors, but it's absolutely insane. The glitters in this come in this gorgeous, buttery, like amazing formula and they kind of dry down to a powder, but somehow they actually stay in place without you getting fallout all over your face. You know how normally most glitter eyeshadows, you just end up with glitter everywhere, like all down your front, all over your face. And I mean, me personally, I love glitter so much. I'm not even phased by that. Like I think it's totally worth it. Uh, but this, you will not get any fallout whatsoever. It's so easy to use. You just basically pick it up with your finger, tap it onto your lid. I haven't even used a base on my eyes here. I've just put this top middle shade all over. Like I've just patted it on. And every time I wear this, I get so many people being like, excuse me, what's on your eyes? Like, what is that eyeshadow? It is seriously insane. And it is so, 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 so affordable. I absolutely love it. I just, I think... I think don't sleep on this. And especially for the holiday season. Like it's nice to do like add like a little glitter, a little bit of glitziness um, at this time of year. Really recommend. And yeah, if you want to use that discount code, I'll pop that down below and a link and everything so that you can get to this. Like this is insane. Insane. So that is it for all of the loves. Now we're going to move on to the hate. So these are the products that I came across that I did not like. Now, this one is probably going to be surprising. The Makeup by Mario Foundation. I've put it back in the box because I'm actually giving it to a girlfriend. Um, because she's obsessed with like Mario and Kim Kardashian and everything. And I was like, babe, you can have mine. This is the Surreal Skin Foundation. My skin hated this. My skin absolutely hated this. And it's funny, before testing this foundation, I did actually, I've got a friend in Sydney who's an incredible makeup artist. Like he's just, oh, his work is amazing. And he actually did... I think he did a video like quite a few months ago saying that this was his most hated foundation ever. And I was like, really? Because the reviews on this online are quite good. Like, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't know what's going on there. This just, this formula is, it's just a no from me. It separates, it really, really highlights texture. It gets super, super shiny. Um, I feel like it really emphasized my pores. It broke up, it got cakey. As far as foundations go, this really was no go for me. It might be a good one for mixing. Like maybe you wanted to mix it because it is like a, like a lighter weight, more glowy formula. It's meant to be really natural and like sort of invisible on the skin, but on my skin, it just wasn't at all. Like on my skin, it just made, just it just didn't look good on me at all. It is very, 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 very glowy. I will say that. Um, so if you're after, oh, nah, look, I'm not even going to recommend it for that because there are better formulas out there. I just, I'm not a fan. And I mean, you know, not every product works for everybody, but straight up, I'm not a fan of this one. Next up, I've got this eyeliner from Il Maquillage. This is called the Black Card Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This, I'm, I don't like this for a couple of reasons. Firstly, when you use it, the whole tip, like, oh, it's going to be really hard to show on camera, maybe this way. The whole tip bends down, which makes it really, really difficult to get a really clean, precise line. Another reason why I really hated this is it just bleeds everywhere. Again, really, really difficult for you to see. Um, just, it ends up all over my eyes. It ends up underneath my eyes. It ends up all through my crease here, all on my lid, everywhere. Um, it just bleeds everywhere and it's not transfer proof. It's just, as far as formulas go, it's not a favor and it's actually really expensive. So stick with your Maybelline. The Maybelline Master Precise will not let you down. An incredible liquid eyeliner, amazing fine pointed tip and it lasts all day, totally budge proof. And then lastly for the heads, I've got another one and this is actually a K-Beauty product as well. It's from the brand Halika Halika who normally I adore their products. I normally love, love, love. This is meant to be a pink eyeliner. It's meant to be the color of the stripes on the tube. It's invisible, you guys. Like you can go all day on this one. Absolutely nothing comes out. I don't understand. I don't understand how this passed like production. Like unless I've got like a faulty one, but I have read other reviews uh, online of people being like, I don't get the point of this product. It's not pink. It doesn't show up at all. Um, yeah, just no, it's a no for me. Well, there you go, guys. Those are all of the products that I have loved and hated throughout the past month. I feel like there 
was more. Like, I feel like I had heaps and heaps and heaps this month, but perhaps I don't. As always, I would love to know what your favorites were. What products have you been loving? What products have you been hating? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know your faves. Um, because I want to try them. I'm really, I mean, this time of year, I get a little spendy windy. I get a little excited. I think it's like the holiday season, you know, with Black Friday and everything. Um, I, I am keen to buy your recommendations, try them out and see what I think. But I love you guys heaps. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will catch you all in my next video.